What's going on YouTube? It's Ben and in this video I'm going to talk about relationships with your clients. What is going on my YouTube family? It's been a few days. It's been like a week and frankly I really, really just miss you guys. Anyways, today I wanted to talk to you about relationships with your business clients. And there's so much to unpack about relationships in business, but I think there's a few key items that I can really give you that will help you leverage relationships in business and make things so much better and so much more profitable for you in your endeavors. So let's just talk about the first key component of a good relationship. Communication. If you have zero personal relationships in your life or you don't have a spouse or significant other, then I guess you don't know that communication is one of the most important aspects of any type of relationship, personal or business. How you communicate with someone, when you communicate with someone, what you communicate to them, any type of element related to communication in a relationship is critical. Literally how you say something to someone, the mode that you use to communicate with them, and when you get back to them. Like if you don't respond to a text right away, or if you don't respond to an email in the proper fashion, or if you never answer the phone, that could be a big deal. Communication is huge, and that's one piece of your business relationships that you need to make sure is on par. The second element of relationships and business I wanted to talk about is trust. This is really interesting because trust is actually built over time. It doesn't come like that. It's not something that you just have like rapport that you can build in five or ten minutes. Trust is something that's built over days, weeks, maybe even months, right? And it can be torn down, ripped apart. You can see how this plays out in personal relationships all the time. Spouses or friends or Anyone can lose trust with someone else over anything practically. So in business, having trust between you and a client and any business partner or associate of yours is critical and paramount to the profitability of your business and your success. Ultimately, trust really just means that you're able to rely on your client or your client's able to rely on you. And those are some of the most important things to have in a business relationship because it means that everybody is sincere and secure and they're not worried about the business relationship, which means that you're just gonna have a lot more capability for success in that relationship. Now the third element to a good business relationship is of course respect. I believe that you must lead with respect. I live my life this way. I approach everyone with respect until I am disrespected. And then of course I just won't have a relationship with someone that disrespects me. But long story short, you have to have respect ultimately for your clients. Your clients have to have respect for you as well. And so it goes both ways. It's a mutual scenario, but respect is very key to business relationships, personal relationships, friendships, whatever they are. If someone's not respecting you, or if you're not respecting someone else in business, the relationship is most definitely gonna crumble apart if it hadn't already. And it's definitely not a good road to go down for many reasons, not only just for that relationship alone, but just for the mere fact that your actual reputation relies upon things like what I've said before, but also respect and the respect you treat people with and give them because that is your name and that's who you are. It's part of your brand. So ultimately leading with respect, coming to the table with it and bringing it to all of your client relationships is critical for you in business. A fourth component of a solid business relationship is that it must have mutual benefit. Nobody wants to be in a relationship that doesn't go two ways, right? So if you're just giving and not receiving anything, why would you want to be in a relationship like that? If you're just receiving everything, cool, that's great for you. But at the end of the day, that client or that other business associate or person is not getting anything out of it and it's just not worth it. Ultimately, a good relationship equation looks like this. One plus one should equal three, not two. Here's why I say that. When two parties come together, two different entities enter into a relationship, 
the sum of that relationship should equal out to something broader than just those two entities. So coming together should create something larger than what those two entities can create just on their own. So specifically in business, this means that if you have a client and then you're rendering services or products to, right, they're going to get some value or perceived value from that relationship. And that means that you're giving mutual benefit to them and they're giving benefit to you by way of monetary compensation or just by patronizing your business, etc. But bottom line is mutual benefit is critical in a business relationship. All right, so this last one I saved because I wanna give a very specific example of it and it's called longevity. So a lot of the times I think that we don't consider longevity as part of relationships, but we really should. We shouldn't take things for granted and we should really consider the fact that when we have a good relationship, personal or business, we need to consider the longevity of that relationship and all of the factors that create the longevity that's gonna happen in that relationship. The trust, the respect, the mutual benefit, all of that goes into having a long, profitable, good business relationship. And I'm gonna give you an example of something that almost affected or could have affected my longevity with a really good client. So just today, just this very morning, I actually received an email from a client of mine who I had been staffing part-time delivery drivers for. Now, I'd worked with this client for several years now. They've repeatedly done business with me, which is awesome, I love that. Repeat business partners, excellent. Longevity, respect, mutual benefit, trust, all of it's there, and we've had a great relationship. Now, I have a 30-day guarantee on these part-time drivers, so when I hire someone on for them, they get to stay for 30 days, and if they don't, I replace them, of course. Wouldn't you know it, this morning I got an email, and they told me that one of their drivers had actually departed, and it was about three weeks after the 30-day guarantee period, which means my obligation to replace that person had stopped about three weeks ago, which means I don't have to do anything, but not so fast. I wasn't about to just email them back and let them know, forget about it, there's no way I'm replacing that driver, they're outside of the guarantee period, it's done and over, I'm not doing a thing. You see, this client has worked with me for years, about three years actually. They were one of my original clients I had first started doing business with. And in 2018 alone, they did $40,000 in billing with me, which means I placed $40,000 worth of candidate fees to their company. And that means they're a really good client for me. And in 2019, they also did close to half of that in business with me. This means that this client repeatedly wants to work with me, and in turn, I repeatedly want to work with them. And ultimately, the cost analysis of replacing someone in order to keep the longevity of a solid relationship like that in business is nothing to me when I compare the entirety of the actual full relationship in business. So of course, I did offer them a free replacement. I would find someone new, I'll get them a new driver, I'll take care of the situation, not a big deal. Because I'll tell you this for a fact, clients that get disrespected like that, when they tell you something like, no, I'm not gonna replace anyone for you, they're really gonna take it to heart because they have a lot of other people that they could work with. And I understand there's mutual benefit, trust, respect, and all of that involved in this relationship, but at this certain point in time, it's my time to step up to the plate and give them some extra respect. Because on my end of the deal, I wanna have longevity in our relationship. And so that is why I'm taking care of the situation for the client, rather than just shoving them off and saying forget about it, and basically predicting they're never gonna do business with me again. Now I totally wanna to make this clear, I would not do this with just any random client whatsoever, but there is a time and a place to step up to the plate and give some extra respect so that you can truly show that client you'll go that extra mile and they will call you again and I can highly predict that I'll be the first person that they call when they wanna fill drivers again in the spring or the summer or whenever it comes up. All right guys, I hope that there was something in this video that you took away that was beneficial to you, whether it was trust, communication, mutual benefit, respect, and longevity, 
any of those items in your business relationships and your personal relationships. Just take those things to heart, understand what they really, really mean, and understand what can happen when you use these things the right way and the wrong way. If you enjoyed this video, definitely smash that like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed already, hit the alert button so you know every time I come out with a new video. I will hope to see you guys tomorrow. Take care.